So I love everything about my portable rig apart from the cable management. I think there's a lot of snagging opportunities there and it just looks so untidy. So I think it's time we sorted that out. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Astro Bloke channel. Today we're going to talk about cable management. So if like me you've uh, built your equipment up over time you'll find that um, as you add each piece of equipment whether it be an automatic focuser, a guide scope, um, dew heaters, every piece of equipment comes with a cable and after a while you end up with cables everywhere and it just looks like someone's chucked a bowl of spaghetti on your rig problem with that is not only does it look really untidy but um, it's very easy for one of these cables to get snagged so during your scope slewing or a meridian flip you can not only get that which can ruin your imaging and ruin the position of your scope but it can also damage the cables so getting everything neat and tidy is actually a really good idea because well for me it looks nicer but mainly it's more practical, you're less likely to get snags and problems. So there's a few things I suggest that you can get to help you with this um, and none of it is a permanent change. A uh, couple of little things are but none, none of the things I put the cables in are permanent so if you do have a problem with a cable it's very easy to swap it out. So I'm going to show you some of the things you uh, can buy that can help you uh, get this done nice and easily. So the cable management on my portable rig has been a job I've been meaning to do for a little while. Um, the new uh, EAF, auto, the Automatic Focuser by ZWO came out, which meant I had one less power lead going to the rig because it is powered via the USB line. So this was the prompt I needed to get this job done. I'd also had a problem with the cable that came with my guide scope or my guide camera, my ZWO 120mm Mini. Um, there's, there's obviously a bad connection in one of these uh, ribbons and um, so it will lose connection <coughs> when it moves sometimes. And the problem was, the other cable that came with the uh, guide camera is three meters long, which is the one thing we're trying to get away from. We want to shorten the cables and neaten everything up. So one of the first things you can do is uh, go on to go online, you can go on Amazon, you can go on eBay and I bought some of these. This is for my camera to my guide scope camera. So nice and short, 0.3 of a meter. Um, and that's uh, one way that you can neaten things up by getting cables that are more suitable to the length. Now my Dew strips that I have on my um, scope are by Lynx Astro and they come with very, very long leads. So I made a modification to them. So I've actually cut this length off um, from my actual dew strip lead. Um, and then on the end, they go into a dew heater controller via a kind of phono plug or RCA plug. So I just purchased myself some male ones of these and they're really simple to fit. The positive goes into the centre post which is a small screw here and then the negative side just gets crimped in this part here. You just have to make sure you've got no bridging of the contact so you don't get anything shorting out. But that is something I did and helped neaten things up very easily. An excellent thing to buy online <clears throat> are reusable Velcro cable ties. Uh, these are fantastic. They come in all different sizes. Um, and if you have short ones and you need a longer one, you can put them together. But they're great because wrap them round and they hold. 
and you know if you need to take something off you can they're so easy to undo and reuse you have no problems at all so if you've got one that's just not quite long enough they're brilliant just literally pop one inside the other and now you've got one that long and these are great um, so I use these to help tidy things up and hold things in place and uh, these are invaluable really easy to get hold of eBay Amazon online and they're not expensive either the final thing that I've used and I've got a piece of it here is um, some nylon webbing that's split so basically you can open it up so let me just see if I can show you that and you put your cable inside and then it closes back up around it a little bit of work to work the cable down it you know a little bit fiddly but you get a knack and then it works really well and what this will do is if you've got cables that are going along the same run rather than have three or four cables all dangling separately you can neatly put them inside one of these and it makes it into a single cable run This is the new electronic automatic focuser and all it has now is a USB 2 lead in which controls it and powers it. This is the uh, focuser I took off which is the older style and as you can see it's got a 12 volt input so an extra lead required for that. The only other difference between the two focusers is this had a red uh, little light on it to let you know it was getting power. This doesn't have it. But other than that they are absolutely identical. So here's the much shorter lead from the camera going to the guide scope, which neatens things up very much. Here is a high tech Astro a four channel Duke Ju controller, which I bought. This has actually helped with the cable management quite a bit. So I've got three Ju strips that go into the controller. One of the nice things with the high tech Astro um, four channel Ju controller, a bit of a mouthful. Um, is it has two 12 volt outputs so I've got a power lead running to it and then I used to run one um, to the mount and one to the electronic automatic focuser and I had to have a separate power lead running to the camera now I've got the new electronic focuser I've got one running to the camera and one running to the mount so that's really good it's uh, reduced my cable runs quite a bit so what I've done is any cables that run together, I've put in the nylon weave and run it up to the uh, up to the pieces of equipment to keep everything as neat as possible and reduce the number of cables that are hanging about. Once I've done the runs, I then unlock the clutches of the mount and move things about to make sure that there's enough uh, slack in all of the cables that it will reach all the positions that the mount could slew to. So that's quite important to make sure that you've got your full range of movement with everything and you're not going to have any problems. As I say, this does not eliminate having snags with your cables, but I think it does reduce the chances and makes it a little bit easier. You can kind of see whether it's going to snag a bit easier than you can if you've got dozens of cables going in all different directions. Okay, and this is my main rig, which also had my OCD cable management touch um, I think it looks a lot better and uh, it has also reduced um, any snagging problems so um, yeah it's been a really good thing to do so a bit of cable management is all done and it neatened things up a lot and there's less chance of cable snagging during an evening of imaging a little bit of effort required but I think it's well worth it and really neatens up your rig